Okay, okay. I'll cover Piggy's contact because it's short and sweet. And I don't want to have to watch the whole fucking live stream. Um, I did just wa ro uh, wa I can't say it. <laughs> I did just watch Rose Thorn reacts. I'm trying to like combine words at the same time, I guess. And, um, she covered a much larger portion of this, uh, particular live stream. And, um, so, it, I mean, if you want the longer version, you can go there. But I think Piggy has captured the most important part of it. Yeah, I'll go live. Okay. There I am. All right. There he is. Hi. Hi. Um, I'd like to clean my kitchen. Like, I'm taking it room by room. We haven't gotten a maid, but I don't feel right getting a maid, and I'm laying in bed. For those of you who don't know, Piggy alters her face um, to make it fair use content. Um, to make it transformational, right? So that's why she looks really weird. Like, whatever filters she had going on, there are new filters on her face at this point. And looking like a seal, you know? So I, I have to, I have to try to slowly start moving my body in like a way that I can- A seal or a whale? Let's be real. <laughs> Let's be real. Clean. So I've done. You see, my living room is pretty clean here. Why can't I? And uh, oh, bending is the worst thing. Oh, so that? what I'm gonna do is, and standing and doing the dishes for too long. Is it? Are you sure you're des describing sciatica correctly? Because a lot of us have actually had it and know what it feels like. Um, the shooting electric pain that goes down your leg. It's not like um, a dull thud like of back pain or something like that. It's not even like complex regional pain syndrome, which is what I have in my left leg, um, which is constant. I have constant nerve damage pain in my left leg, which is why if you watched my live stream earlier, um, I was talking about how when I got back from my restorative physical therapy, I can't, I always forget what it's called. It's like a restorative program of like four different classes I got to take every day, um, of the week. So it's at least getting my stamina back to the point where I could take like a part-time job, right? I came back and started throwing up like right away. I've never heard her say that she's ever been in so much pain that she's vomiting, right? Not happening. And the way she describes her sciatica pain is not like anybody else I know who has ever had it or experienced it. It's on my leg. So my dishes, I have two pots left to do. I've been doing it slowly and I want to try to cook today. I haven't really cooked a proper. And why would that be? Because you're getting a takeout like for every fucking meal. You're eating straight out of the fucking containers from the restaurant. You're not using dinner plates, so what kind of fucking dishes do you need to do? You're not cooking for yourself. You're literally scarfing up everything out of those containers. Meal for us, so I'm gonna try to do that. I have to go to the clinic um, to get an injection and vitamin injection. And uh, what else do we have to do? I don't, I don't know. She's really Not much else. I saw the um, the subtext from uh, Piggy. 
I don't think she's actually getting any injections because I think it would be unlikely that without having an actual treating physician that you could have a regimen like that. Um, you can't just be going to drop-in clinics and getting shots all the time. That's really weird, and I find it unbelievable. My apartment's not that bad, but, like, <sighs> since experiencing what I went through in the villa when I was at my worst depressed ever, I would go through, dep I would go through like, depressed moments, okay? And... <sighs> I was like, I vowed to myself, I'm like, plus this law does not, would not be, see, Pete and I, we kind of enabled each other with that, like, being messy, because we were both depressed, and we just didn't care if it was messy, but Salah cares, <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm, I'm thankful for that, because, you know, he doesn't, like, get cross or anything if I don't keep it tidy, but, like, he doesn't like it, so, I, if there's, like, anything, like, you know, if just things start piling up, like, too many dishes, or... Well, I guess he's doing something. I know everybody's been like, why isn't he cooking for her? Why isn't he doing more to help her if she's in so much pain? Sounds like he's the one coming in and cleaning. I don't think he lives there either, you guys. Um, but it does sound like he's still doing some level of support. Probably bringing over food, doing some light cleaning. And that's about it. <laughs> that's probably the full extent of what Salah is is willing to do at this point. That guy is checked out. I haven't vacuumed in a while and there's too many crumbs. I, I just, I don't like it. So I'm trying to like force myself to, you know. Uh, I mean, Salah's really good. He does help me a lot, you know, even though like in this culture, it's not usual for men to like help their wives with home duties, but he's like, like I said, I think that, and I think that they say that, but whenever your wife is sick, it's different. Like it's a different if the man is all, if the man is always doing the housework. You're not sick. You're not fucking sick. Give me a break. You're faking injury and illness. Come on now. And the only reason he's putting up with it is because you pay all the bills. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I'm just saying from this cultural perspective. Um, but he, like, if I can't do something, he'll help me with it, you know? No, I'm working on it slowly, getting the laundry. I have to do laundry. I have a lot to do. Um, I have to wash the floors. Um, this is all clean now and vacuumed. Nice carpet. Can't really see, but is the sun coming out or what? My husband does not cook at all. No, I haven't always been the best per, you know, good person, but no, nobody really is, you know, all the time. I've repented a lot to Allah um, about a lot of things that I felt I needed to atone for in my past. And I'm just trying to be like a better person, you know. I actually haven't gone to Starbucks. You're trying to hide again. The whole reason you're there in the first place is because you wanted a fake marriage um, that you are unwilling to show anybody any documentation for. There's no wedding photos, right? Um, as far as I know, there's no wedding photos. And um, you have a bankruptcy in Canada. You've got tax collectors coming after you. Um, and so you're running away you're you're a tax evader okay allegedly and um he wants your income so he's willing to put up with you to a certain degree but he does not want to have intimate relations with you um so here you go hiding again by changing your identity on online, which, by the way, I tagged you in all of my fucking videos, so it automatically updated. Automatically updated. That's right. And it will do so every time you change your name. But yeah, somebody else already claimed Foodie B and has changed it to a channel that says Woof Woof. That's what happens, girlfriend. I don't know why you didn't just fucking reserve it on the side. 
you know, as like a secondary channel. I, I, I don't know. I mean, she's trying to hide from the Mr. Snowflake documentary that's about to come out. She's scared that people are going to look her up and start harassing her or something like that, which is a huge mistake because it might actually get her more viewers. And she really wants to get to that 100K mark so that she gets the plaque. Um, where would the plaque be sent? Is it going to be sent to Canada? <laughs> going to be sent to her like parents house right since being back here and i used my gift cards that i was given and that's it and i shouldn't have done that <laughs> you ever feel like you are ruining your life living in kuwait not giving yourself a chance to be truly happy with someone who can be faithful um yeah you thought that baby no i don't feel that way now i cut off talking about like our healing together what happened but um, like I said, it's kind. It's brought brought us closer together. He's more more loving than ever, and he really, really regrets it. He regrets being more loving than ever. <laughs> That's good. That's rich. That I love the way you phrased that because it makes so much more sense than what you were actually trying to say. <laughs> so, um, this guy is never around. You never hear any doors open in the background. You never hear any footsteps in the apartment. You never hear any whispers of, hey, I gotta tell you something real quick. Like... You never get any text messages in the middle of a live stream. Hey, um, can you do this? Can you do that? Blah, blah, blah. Right? Like even Eugenia Cooney, who's like um, in her bedroom all the time. Um, she even gets text messages from her family in the middle of her live streams. Let's be real. So... Um... And I love living here. Like, I love Kuwait. And um, so, no, I don't regret that. Even if, like, even if, let's say, I did end up getting divorced, uh -oh. I would not, I don't think I would ever worry about getting married again, honestly. Well, that's very interesting that she's already talking about divorce because this is also on the heels of her saying, that things might change that she might go back to Canada like there have been other statements made in other live streams in which um, she's kind of alluded to the idea of this marriage being shaky because I would have to get married as a Muslim I would have to it's like hold on to date so no no interest no, and I'm getting older so <laughs> it's almost 6am here my family would never come here, CM. I don't think so. Too long of a flight. Too big of a cultural difference, I think. I don't have any Kuwaiti friends, no, nor. Oh, God. You seem pretty mobile for somebody who fucking has sciatica. Very interesting, Chantal. Miriam. Whoever the fuck you are now. And then I'm going to ask them for like another pain injection. Because it's bad when I'm cleaning and stuff. What are you doing? I'm sorry. I thought you said you were just getting vitamin injections. Now you're saying you're getting pain injections? Very interesting transition there. The hamster? Yeah, next live stream. He's in the other room. Ooh. What are you doing? 
do you do? What do you do? Hey? Say hi. Say hi. Can you see the ocean or not really? Excuse me. It's the gulf, right? It's not the fucking ocean. It's the gulf. Excuse me. Stop. I thought we weren't going to talk about your health. Yeah, whatever, I guess. Those buses take people to work. Like, and then they bring them back. No, I don't think we're gonna go this year. Maybe not. I don't know. It depends how I feel. Green grapes. Yeah, I'm in pain. I'm gonna try to get up. Hold on. That's such a bad impersonation of sciatica. I can't even, you guys. <sighs> Read the Quran on live. today. <sighs> Reverend Chani, hello. Hello, how are you guys? <laughs> I don't want sympathy, Elizabeth, at all. That's why I've been live streaming in bed, you know? No, you've been live streaming in bed? Probably because you're very depressed over your situation right now. And uh, your husband has basically left you. He's still helping you out a little bit somehow. But um, y your marriage is over. You know it. We know it. Um, and the reality is that you're just keeping up the facade at this point. And so your lethargy and laziness right now is totally related to your depression around that that you're trying to figure out what your next steps are because you expected him to be the my husband right <clears throat> and that didn't quite work out because his fetish got revealed by Kai Bella one of your beezers and I'm fairly certain you knew that was coming and that sh shit was going to hit the fan quite literally. Um, which is why she had her meltdown in the car in Canada and, um, but also then did a live stream saying, well, I knew about some of his fetishes and she has a history of potentially having a poop fetish as well. So it's, I think that she was well aware that he was, um, doing that shit. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> and, um, she just was trying to do damage control by being like, oh my God, he cheated on me. I had no idea. I don't think that's the case at all. I think on December 18th, when these text messages were going back and forth, that um, she made up the story of going to the eye doctor. She made up the story of going to the ER. And she was probably smoking weed with Pete's all day. Where are the new eyeglasses, Chantal? Where are your new glasses? 
Hello. I don't ever sit on this sofa because getting up is hard, yeah. Even Lyrica is a no-no. It's very hard to get. <laughs> they gave me um, an injection, but I don't. they didn't prescribe anything. I'm going to ask. Ice packs, yes. Go border hop and get some good stuff like in Mexico. I didn't buy like something. I wish I had something strong, actually, but... I don't know if that's a good idea either because I'm an addict, right? Uh-huh. I hate feeling helpless. Like, I hate it. I don't like it. <sighs> They're not going to give you any painkillers because they know that you're an addict. I'm not an addict and they won't even give me painkillers. And even if they offered them to me, I would turn them down because I don't want to take something that would make it that I can't drive, that I can't operate machinery. Like, I don't want that scenario involved. I would rather learn to live with my pain than fucking have that kind of situation show up for me. But here you are, you faking sciatica, insulting every one of us who actually have nerve conditions. You know, uh, if you really had it, go to fucking physical therapy. All right, guys, thank you. And I'm gonna go rest. Yeah. Okay. Go rest. Go rest. Because clearly you can't exercise or diet. So go rest.